So you're shopping out your insurance, you're bringing in another agent to hold your current person accountable or do some due diligence. And I hope at least if you're gonna go down this path that you at least do a market selection where you uh, don't just make it a free for all, but you talk with each agent, your current and the new guy and say, what markets do you wanna go to? They're gonna send you a list of markets and inevitably they're gonna have the same, some of the same markets on that list. So now you as a business owner or CFO, how do you decide who gets what markets if they have a, one of the same markets on there? This is a really important question because a lot of your premium is dictated by the human element, right? That underwriter still has a pencil and they can still kind of give you credits or debits or decide to get or decide how aggressive they want to get for your account. And the relationship that that underwriter has with that agent is going to really matter in this scenario. Let's say you have agent one has a great relationship, has helped them win a lot of business, always honest with them. And you have agent two, terrible relationship or no relationship. Well, now that underwriter, if they get a submission from agent two, might have some more questions, might be more unsure, thinking, yeah, he's kind of burned me in the past. Is that going to happen again? Or when they get a submission from agent one, they're going to be thinking, man, this is awesome. I'm excited about this. They're just going to naturally probably sharpen the pencil a bit more and get more aggressive, right? This is why it's so critical that you pick the right agent and the right partner. So both agents are going to tell you, we have great relationships. You're going to hear the same song and dance. So here's three kind of questions you can ask that I think will help you. One is what's the number of accounts that you have with that underwriter locally and nationally or regionally? What's the volume of business that you place with them currently? And the third is what's your relationship look like with that underwriter? And kind of leave it open-ended and and really be in tune to what their answers are, right? Are they, do they mention their first name? Do they mention they drop by the office quarterly? What kind of uh, clues are they dropping about the strength of that relationship? So this is a really important decision Again, all this can be avoided if you would just hire one broker to represent you exclusively, but you can watch past videos for why I believe that's the best way to go. However, if you're going to use the multiple agent approach, this is one of the best ways, I think, to, to make sure that you pick the right agent to go to the right market. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.